Good morning, Spurs. Today's gonna be a great day at SWE. My name's Daniel. Today's date is Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. Hoy es martes, octubre 10, 2023. Spurs, make sure you're giving your teacher your form and your money for ghost grams. Spurs, let's level up with school lunch. Today, for hot, we're having chicken tango walking tacos. For cold, we're having peanut butter box. And for salad, we're having chef salad. Your teacher is gonna give you this paper. Customize the controller, write your name on it, and turn it into the cafeteria tomorrow. The best will get a prize. Time to get to work, Spurs, and don't forget to rope. Acuérdese de alcanzar nuestro potencial cada día. That means, Reach our potential every day. This story is pretty good, but I have an even better story about when I struck it rich in the California Gold Rush. Hey. 49ers traveling from the eastern U.S. traveled 8,100 miles in wagon trains that took six to eight months to get to the gold fields. Many travelers got hurt and sick along the way. The worst disease they carried was cholera, spread by drinking dirty water. They would spend hours bent over in the water, swelling their pan, knee deep in the water until all that was left in their pan was the gold. One of the major success stories of the gold rush was Levi Strauss, a German clothing maker. He traveled to San Francisco in 1853 and sold heavy canvas pants to the gold miners. Wasn't that an amazing story? People faced danger, had adventures, and got rich. Maybe you want to learn more about the California Gold Rush. I'm in my favorite place, the library, and I have some news for you. As you read your era books between now and December 13th, each time you get an 85% or higher on an AR quiz, you get to enter the AR basket raffle. That means you get a ticket to put in the drawing to win one of these amazing prize baskets. Each one has a different cool theme for the goodies inside. This is the second year that our reading support tutor, Miss April, and her certified reading therapy dog, Irma, have sponsored this awesome incentive. Miss April and Irma read with students at our school each week, helping students to be the best readers they can, and they encourage all of us to take the time to enjoy reading. Why is it so important that students spend time reading outside of their normal schoolwork? Well, you know, when you want to be good at something, you can't just do it one time and expect to be perfect at it, right? Mm -hmm. so the more you practice, the better you'll be. That's super smart. Did you always love reading when you were a kid? Well, you know, I don't remember really a lot of reading. My so I'm always listening to books. That's really cool. Irma, do you like reading? Do you like to read, Irma? She likes a lot. Of, her favorite books are um, Dr. Seuss books, Green Eggs and Ham, and it makes life easier. That's really cool. I can't wait to see who wins these awesome baskets. Keep reading, Spurs. You have a few more days to get your name into the raffle. Good luck, everybody. Hello, my name is Austin Heiner, reporting here from Southwest Elementary. I'm here at the Downtown Lakeland Christmas Parade. I heard that this is their 42nd annual Lakeland Parade. I heard there's going to be over 100 floats in the parade. Let's hear it for some floats. I love seeing all the lights and decorations on the floats. It's a great night for children of all ages to dress up and celebrate the Christmas season. Right foot, two stops. Left foot, two stops. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees. An important part of every parade is our first responders. Check out the antique fire engine carrying the Lakeland Fire Department. Here's another favorite first responder, it's Sheriff Grady Judd. Merry Christmas. Oh look, there's Santa coming. I know the kids in the crowd have waited the whole parade 
just to see Santa. That's the end. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey Sophia. I am so excited about book fair. Because it's dinosaur themed. I have a pet dinosaur. There's no way. Here's what happened. I read so many dinosaur books that I dreamed about having a pet dinosaur. And when I woke up, there he was. His name is Gerald. No way, I want one. Well then I guess you better buy some books from book fair. Book Fair is open Monday to Friday. This is looking so cool. I love growing plants like this. Me too, it makes me feel so energized. Good morning, Southwest Elementary School. It's a great day for learning at SWE. Our project here is a lot like the theme we've been focusing on in our morning shows this week, building healthy habits. Keeping our minds and bodies learning and growing in lots of different ways. One of the first healthy habits we can build in a day is safe travels as we come to school. Let's hear from Michael. He's on location with some cool motivation. I don't even ride the bus, but this advice is great for all of us when we're around traffic. Another important healthy habit is having a hobby that gives you something exciting to learn. Our fourth and fifth grade Alpha students have enjoyed growing plants ever since they joined the Alpha program. This year, their love for learning about plants took a strange turn. Another healthy habit that we have to develop is taking care of our devices so that when we are ready to learn, they are ready too. Here are a few important tips to keep your device healthy and ready to work. Those are great tips to help us keep our iPads in top condition. That way, we can be ready for anything, like taking AR tests. Taking AR tests has a fun dress award this nine weeks. Let's hear from Natalie and Gwen with all the details. I'm not sure which crazy hat I'm going to wear yet, but I've almost reached my goal. So I need to keep reading so that I can participate. Speaking of reading, Austin and Leslie found a great book that ties in with their focus on healthy habits. Staying active is such a big part of building healthy habits. And to keep your energy when you're being active takes fuel. My favorite fuel when I'm hungry is pizza. Okay everyone, I think we've given you lots of good ideas on how to build healthy habits. It's time to get focused on learning and start our school day. Let's work hard, do our best, and remember to roll. Acuérdate ser gastar nuestro potencial cada día. That means reach a potential every day.